So what's your name? My name is Kelsey Ressler. I have worked for a ghostly encounter for about a year now. Do I believe in paranormal? Yes. Yes, I do believe in paranormal. I am very sensitive to the spirits, and it's been like that ever since I was little. I have always been able to tell when somebody's going to die. <laughs> I don't want that to sound scary, because it's not. It's not a scary thing. It's not scary for me. Um, it's not like I can look at somebody and say, oh, you're going to die tomorrow. It's more of a feeling. I will get really nauseous, and I just don't feel right. Have I had any encounters while working with the paranormal? Yes, that is barely a question. <laughs> um, do you want me to just talk about that? Yeah, go okay, for it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, well, the building we're actually in right now is a ghostly encounter. It originally started as a mistress's home, and then it became a funeral park. And the Catalamato Cemetery, which is right next door, is a Catholic cemetery here in St. Augustine. And it actually runs underneath of our floorboards. And so pretty much all of the spirits that we've contacted in this building come from the ground, so not from the building itself. Um, and then I had the pleasure of meeting a psychic. And she's a really great lady. She came in, and this was the first psychic I had ever come in contact with. And she's like, oh, I'm a psychic. I've done psychic medium work for uh, murder cases, that kind of thing. I mean, she's a world-renowned psychic. And so she came in, and my boss had said, why don't we go ahead and bring her into the building and do another investigation? Because we've done investi investigations in the building, which is why it's certifiably haunted. And so I brought her in, and she took an EMF meter, which is an electromagnetic field tester. And she walked into the room, into the back room, and she starts talking, and she says, is anybody here? Is anybody listening? And whoever was in the room starts talking. And you can see it on her voice recorder. And the EMF starts going with the voice recorder. And she says to me, he doesn't know he's dead. He's scared. He doesn't know he's dead. Who is he? What? Who is he? Just, he's someone who's very lost. Would that be the same person? Was here with the psychic? Yes. He's very sad. Sorry. <laughs> she took a step back and she says, Oh, he's nice. He won't hurt you. There's nothing wrong with him. We went back in. A, later, a little bit later on, and awkwardly enough, I was wearing a Ghostbusters costume, because it was Halloween, and we went back in, and Stacy was with me, and we're standing in the room, and she says, let's try to talk to him again. So you want to know who these people are? The people who are taking your picture? If you want to be friends with them, can you make the lights go? So you want to be friends with the people here? And this is where stuff got bad, because she says, you know, oh, you know, we're back, I'm here, I told you I wasn't going to hurt you, I'm back again, let's talk, come on, sweetie, like, make the little lights go. And she says, I'm here with Kelsey and Stacy, which is our other tour guide, and she's like, use their energy, make the lights glow. And so the lights start going up, and apparently, I don't recall this, but Stacy does, I uh, had actually gotten very vague, so my face went, you know, very, a very strange expression, and I started walking towards the EMF meter. Uh, I don't remember that at all, and shortly after that, after she started asking him questions, she looks up and she says, he's angry. Like, she just whispers, he's angry. And whatever was in the room at that time did not like <laughs> what was going on. She was trying to help him cross over and he got very angry and started spiking the EMF meter and then her eyes rolled back in her head and she started seizing and her husband came up and he grabbed her and he says, you can't have her. And he rips out a prayer, a prayer from his back pocket and he starts reciting a prayer. And he says, we need to leave, we need to leave. So as we're leaving, she screams and she says, tell him he can't come with you. So we go out to the front porch and we were saying, you can't come with us, you can't come with us. And of course we were very scared. And as we got to the front porch, she lifts her shirt up, and we look, and she has three scratches across her stomach. And she says, I think it's time for us to leave. <laughs> so that was probably 
the most realistic thing I 